up everybody, yo! This is Christian and this is Anastasia. And we got some parental updates for you. We I'm just trying to have some energy like Christian. Okay. Yes. <laughs> this episode has been been brought to life by Melanin Origins. We're gonna tell you all about them, but we are so happy for them because they write some incredible children's books uh, based on African American leaders that and looks pioneers. Like me. That looks like me. That look more like Anastasia. That's right. Okay, everyone, check it out. Here we go. The one tradition we've been trying to do, which I didn't really have much faith in, was the reading. Maybe you have more faith than I did. They say, even when they're not listening, you think they're not, but they will catch a word. Okay, great. <laughs> so, but now, he will actually sit and listen. So yes, now we're getting patiently. more into this. And so it's the perfect time, because just as this happened, as God would have it, Melanin Origins reached out to us, which is a children's book company that focuses on black pioneers. And I think that was their first series. It was African American history. Like, Kwame would just pick some of them up, just because, you know, you might think he doesn't see himself, but he sees himself and he's like, oh, let me pick up that book. It's important for us, for him to get a very diverse and global perspective yes. of leaders and to see people that look like him. And then they have the second series. Now this is the one that's on pre-sale that you can get and we're gonna put the promotional code right down below. I'm passionate about because- Because guess see, what, guess what, guess what? I'm an Episcopal priest. This is the one that's coming out in their Bible series which is the is Old Testament, Testament characters. And so this one is Abraham's great, great love. love. I want you to take a look at this. Notice what Abraham looks like. Historically accurate Abraham. Leave a comment below if you, growing up as African, if you used to see like black Jesus or like the Bible characters looking like me and you, leave a comment below. I don't remember or seeing being, that. Or just being historically accurate. I don't right? remember seeing that. I always thought Jesus was white. Jesus is a <laughs> Palestinian Jew, would be at the very least brown. Abraham, same thing. And so all these folks are either from Africa into the Middle East. I just love the diversity, like the diversity of, of the book. It's just incredible. Well written, well illustrated. Obviously so we're total good. fans. We are grateful when we do partner so with good. someone, we want to partner with someone that we know we align with the values and we really enjoy. So this is one that we really want to tell you. This is the one you want to get. It's a great gift. You were coming up on I mean, Christmas is around the corner. This is yes. a great, a great gift to get. And for babe, your guess what? It's not out yet, but you can pre-order. It doesn't matter if, if what color your kids are or no. your grandbabies. You want to see that verse? Just celebrate yeah. God's beautiful creature of creation. Christian has been reading the Abraham great love to Kwame. He listened to us more. Even if it's for 30 seconds, he still listens and walk away and then come back and then he'll pick up the book again. Pre-order, pre-order. You think birthdays, think Christmas. If you are a godparent, this is also a great gift that you can get. We are not going to leave you hanging without. Ding, 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 ding. Can you do a drum roll thing? We have a giveaway for a lucky winner. And the only thing you have to do is be a subscriber already and tell us why you think you should receive the Abraham's great love. A lucky winner randomly selected and then you receive your book. And then for everyone else, pre-order now because it drops September 17th, 17th and you, you want to be born the very first. We're doing the juggling match of parents. So I'm gonna go get Kwame. I'm gonna take him out. Anastasia's gotta go work. And then we're also gonna be taking on some things with uh, talking about some, some family plans. You yes. For that? Let's get into it. Let's go. Well, baby boy and I are about to go and get some lunch so we can allow Anastasia to get some work done. I just wanna show you some of um, baby boy's wonderful artwork that he has now shared with us and blessed us with his uh, creativity right on our wall. All right, baby boy, what do you want to eat? Do you want Mexican, Middle Eastern food? Sushi, Vietnamese food, Laotian, Haitian, baby boy food? All right, guys, so uh, got done with two services today. Baby boy and I are gonna grab some food. That's right. advantage of going to the mall is that it's air conditioned. You can get like 10 feet away from anyone in there. You can run around. And as you can see, there's like no one there. So that gets to work him out a little bit. And here's the one cool thing. Where are you going? Kwame. 
Kwame keeps on trying to get back into the mall, see what other kind of major retail space we can invade, because Kwame just loves all the bells and whistles. Cool thing happened inside. While we were in the mall, this is a first for me. This has happened in Anastasia multiple times, but we got stopped by a subscriber, which was super cool. So shout out to Dawn. Thank you for subscribing and being part of the Christian Anastasia world. So awesome to be able to meet you. Before I get in the car, I gotta show you this, this is super cool. Oh yeah, woo That license plate is literally Kwame. Daddy looks weird with his hair. <laughs> Ooh, that looks fun. Apparently Kwame would rather have the privacy of his own space than to sit around with all these people looking at him. Now he can eat his food, and it's probably better this way. His hands are clean. You're hungry, aren't you? out. You know, honey, you know, there have been questions uh, in the comment section about updates on how's everything been going as a parent. How are you feeling? Are you exhausted? Are you tired? Do you regret the last 16 months? Do you regret marrying me? Do you wish you would have married some other guy, but you ended up with this dude? Firing your minds want to know. Huh? What? Like, that's like silly question. We are going to be doing though is giving a bit of a parental update or parenting update some of the tricks we've learned. We have not done enjoyed. that in so long. I will say one key to parenting is really liking your partner. <laughs> you like me? Yes. Loving, love is the obvious thing, because you can like love your partner, but it's a big difference between loving and liking. I think you're the one who said that. I did, because like I like other. Christian a lot. Even when he gets on my nerves, I like him. Even when I feel like, oh, you got my nerves. Like every day? Which is all the time. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. You get to see Christian on the vlog, so you, you really don't know him as know him personally, but he's fun to be around. So when he even annoys me, I'm like, I still like him. The other part about parenting that we've been learning is the tag team aspects. We both work, like today, I go to church and, and go to you know work, so I go do time there. Then I come home, I take Kwame, take him out, so then you can go to work, work. Yeah. so then you do all your work. Mm -hmm. well, so now he's napping, and then well, he wakes up, and then ideally I should be editing the vlog, but you know, then you gotta try to work in time. So that's all, it's just, just yeah. it's a juggle, it's it a is. juggling thing. So another update is that, so Kwame has started school. It's been really exciting for, for us as a parent, he is part of a, a small little class. You could tell like right from the jump since he's just been talking so much more while at home. <laughs> Listen, Kwame comes home and he talks all day long. Whenever he talks, he talks all day And we just kind of talk back and say, yeah, whatever you learn from school, yeah, we get it. And then he even talks to himself. So the other day I was in the garage and he's, he's looking at the car, trying to decipher if he can touch the tire of the car, but he's not talking to me, he's talking to himself. And he goes, then he'll turn to me and go, so that's kind of fun. What else have you noticed from Kwame since he's gone to school? I told you guys before, this is the milestone I've been waiting for. He wants to feed himself now. Like, if you make Kwame breakfast and then you're giving him the, you know, you are feeding him with a fork, the spoon, he takes it right from you to do it himself. So he's like, he knows how to, I guess the school teaches him to feed himself. Let's talk tradition. One of them is playing soccer in the house, so that's cool. That's cool. He's still treating it like handball, but we're trying to get kick him it to kick it. He comes and take it. Uh, but he's getting familiar yeah. with the soccer ball, so that that that's cool. He picked up high five immediately. Baby boy, high five. But his favorite bump. is fist bump. Baby boy, fist bump. Dancing. I want to ask you. Are you thinking about a sibling ever for a little Quam dog? Of course, we talked about this before. I mean, it's just always gonna talk about it because I never know if you're ever gonna change your mind. Oh, so if I change my mind, would you well, go it's with- Well, it's with, kind of predicated you go, on you. Would you go with my mind if I said, babe, we shouldn't have any more kids? Well, I just know what to pray on. <laughs> you pray that we don't have kids? I 
you know, we have so much to talk about that, babe. In order to know more about that, you're gonna have to tune in next week, which means yes. you're gonna have to subscribe. You will have to subscribe for that. So please subscribe and tune in next week as we continue this great journey of uh, talking about family and family development and all that stuff. The second um, children, also children, fourth children, children, fifth children. children. Not three, not four, not five. Uh, no. Mr. Carly, some other great partnerships that we're working with, but today is all about melanin, melanin oranges. oranges. We love them. They're so awesome what they're doing. All you gotta do is hit the subscribe button. Share with people who would like melanin origins as well. We love you so much. Check out next week for the developments right here with Christian Anastasia and Kwame and company. We love you. We'll see you. Let's go to the music. Bye. <laughs>